It's Tuesday, April 4th. My name is Rich, and this is your 5-Minute Fix. All right, big news in the sports entertainment world. UFC and WWE will team up to form a $21.4 billion sports entertainment company. My goodness. Now, I do recall not too long ago, there was a time where the WWE was said to be being purchased by a Saudi entity. I guess that didn't pan out. And it is uh, going to be a merger with the UFC. Let's take a read, baby. WWE and the company that runs Ultimate Fighting Championship will combine to create a $21.4 billion sports entertainment company. A newly public traded company will house the UFC and World Wrestling Entertainment brands. With Endeavor Group Holdings Incorporated taking a 51% controlling interest in the new company. Existing WWE shell shareholders will hold a 49% stake. The companies put the enterprise value of UFC at $12.1 billion and WWE's value at $9.3 billion. I honestly did not know or think that it would be worth that much. I know it's kind of had a WWE's kind of had a resurgence as of late, but I did not think it was a $9.3 billion type resurgence. The new business, which does not yet have a name, will be led by Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel. Vince McMahon, executive chairman at WWE, will serve in the same role at the new company. Dana White will continue as president of UFC and Nick Khan will be president of WWE. Quote, together we will be a $21 billion live sports and entertainment powerhouse with a collective fan base of more than a billion people and an exciting growth opportunity, McMahon said in a prepared statement Monday. He also provided some idea of where the focus of the new company will be, saying that it will look to maximize the value of combining media rights, enhance sponsorship monetization, develop new forms of content, and pursue other strategic mergers and acquisitions to further bolster their brands. Ties already existed talent-wise between WWE and UFC, with stars such as Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey crossing over between the two businesses. Uh, I believe... CM Punk as well, but that didn't turn out too well for him. The deal between Endeavor and WWE catapults WWE into a new era after functioning as a family-run business for decades. McMahon purchased Capital Wrestling from his father in 1982 and took the regional wrestling business to a national audience with the likes of wrestling stars such as Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The company, how do they not mention Stone Cold Steve Austin there as well? Come on, man. Ultimate Warrior, I guess there's so many. Randy Savage, could have named anybody, but uh, okay, anyways. The company, which changed its name to World Wrestling Federation and later World Wrestling Entertainment, hosted the first WrestleMania in 1985. McMahon, in an interview with CNBC, addressed the notion that there was a doubt among some WWE fans and industry experts that he would ever make a deal for the business. It's the right time to do the right thing, and it's the next evolution of WWE, he said. Um... I want to know what the payout structure is for Vince McMahon and, uh, you know, all the, I guess, all the shareholders of WWE. That would be, um, you know, the most uh, interesting or that would be an interesting thing in my eyes to see just like how that structure is set up and what the shareholders are entitled to in such a deal like this. I, I'm not a businessman. I don't know how that goes down. So. I mean, aside from that, this looks uh, looks pretty crazy. Uh, the rest of this article, which is from uh, NPR, if you want to take a look, uh, it, you know, it just outlines a couple other things uh, with UFC and WWE, that kind of thing. Up next, from BBC Science Focus, NASA reveals Artemis II astronauts meet the most diverse crew to voyage to the moon. That's right, baby. We got some melanin in there. What up, brother? The moment we've all been waiting for, introducing the first astronauts to return to lunar orbit in 50 years, including the first woman and person of color. In an event at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, USA, NASA recently announced the names of the four astronauts who will crew Artemis II, the first voyage around the moon in over 50 years. The crew formed of three NASA astronauts and one astronaut from the Canadian Space Agency, Canadian, includes the first woman and first person of color to be assigned to the lunar mission. The, the astronauts flying Artemis II to the moon are Christina Koch, or Koch, how do you want to say it? I don't know. 44, NASA, who holds the record for the longest single spaceflight by a woman. She's from Michigan and has completed 328 days in space 
joining NASA in 2001. With a background in electrical engineering, Kosh, or Coke, spent a year training at the South Pole. My goodness, imagine what that was like training at the south pole what what does that even consist of that's what i'd like to know jeremy hansen from the csa 47 years old is the canadian space agency's astronaut though in 2017 was put in charge of training new nasa astronauts as well as canadians while he was selected to be an astronaut in 2009 this will be his first flight assignment imagine seeing our planet from space it's going to be amazing said hansen in a video interview good for him shout out victor glover 46 a naval aviator who completed his first space flight in 2021 he has spent 168 days in orbit and participated in four spacewalks he hails from california and has an academic background in engineering and last but not least reed wiseman 47 from nasa who is also a decorated naval aviator from maryland he was selected for nasa's 20th astronaut class in 2009 and recently served as chief of the astronaut office yo this is wild um as it said it's been over 50 years since uh you know man has taken a trip to the moon as far as we know so i I find this kind of stuff interesting. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, you know, you also have that whole element of uh, UAPs and stuff popping up. Maybe some crazy shit will go down. Who knows? We'll see. Should be entertaining. Uh, I'll read a little bit more here. While NASA had, actually, you know what? Let's go, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's read about Artemis 2. Artemis 2 is the final test flight with NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. As well as recruiting a more diverse crew of astronauts, the Artemis program has a more international foundation than Apollo, with NASA this time collaborating with space agencies in Canada, Europe, and Japan. Artemis 2 is expected to reach a furthest distance of over 370,000 kilometers from Earth. By comparison, the International Space Station orbits at an altitude of 420 kilometers above my goodness this is the furthest from earth that humans have traveled since apollo 17 in 1972 bada bing bada boom this is going to be wild this is going to be wild um the 2.3 million kilometer artemis 2 mission will take place over 10 days in total during which the four astronauts will confirm that the Orion capsule's life support systems operate as expected with the crew on board. This will pave the way for the Artemis 3 mission, which intends to send two astronauts to land on the moon's surface before 2030, baby, baby, let's get it on. This is exciting. I get jacked up for this kind of stuff because I love space. I'm a little bit of a nerd. I don't give a fuck. This shit is awesome. And lastly for today, I'm going to leave you with a little something special. Um, I can't play the sound from this, obviously, because it is uh more than likely copyrighted but if y'all remember last video i was talking about how afro man was being sued by police officers for uh using footage from his own security cameras in a music video and these officers were suing him for because they said you know invasion of their privacy blah 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 well you know what uh here is a video i believe this one is called uh why you disconnected my video camera there you go this song is called why you connecting my video camera i'll leave a link to this video down below if you want to check it out afterwards but uh it, it also it's seven minutes long almost eight minutes long so you know it, i listen to it it's kind of funny dope stuff uh you know afro man he's just yeah, kind of like you know what i consider afro man now that i think about it afro man is kind of like the uh who is it what's that guy's name uh weird al he's kind of like the weird al of the rap game you know uh i guess it's a, a little less parody just a more a little more funny kind of thing but that's what i would liken him to so you know what guys uh check this out like i said i'll leave this link down in the bottom hit like hit subscribe all that good stuff i see uh, some new people pop up uh as subscribers thank you very much i appreciate it and uh yeah this has been your five minute fix